hadn't anticipated what it was going to be like. Now, at that time, it was just one day at a time. It was one hour at a time. One of those first nights, I went down to the, car- to, down to the cafeteria with my car attendant. And uh, it was packed, and it was, it was so full of energy. Everybody was excited to be back at school, and I thought, oh boy, am I ready for this? And I went through the food line, I came out, and I looked around, and all the tables were full, and I thought, oh no, where am I going to sit? It was sort of a setup like this, not nearly as big. And I thought, oh boy. Unfortunately, a table cleared out, and I, I rolled right up to it. My care attendant sat down, began helping to feed me. And it wasn't until about 10 or 15 minutes later when I was just about done, when all of a sudden it dawned on me that, that as full as that cafeteria was, that nobody sat down at my table. So I quickly realized that when you have a disability in college or in general, that it can either be one of two things. You're either invisible, people look right past you, or you're intimidating. They don't know what to say, they don't know what to do, and again, they look right past you. Well, it wasn't long before I started eating my meals up in my dorm room. So everybody else was too busy going to classes, going to the games, going to the parties. And everything was, became a big deal, you know, just getting up in the morning to get, get to class to get anywhere. Nobody ever asked me the questions I knew they had about what I could feel, what it was like. Well, how I felt about being paralyzed. Now, if there's, if there's one thing I can encourage you to do, and I know you guys are better at this than most of the audience that I speak to, but you come across somebody that's a little different. Maybe they have a disability. It's just that moment of having compassion. Looking that person in the eye, putting a smile on your face, saying hello. That's all I wanted. I just wanted somebody to come up to me to see that I was still the same Travis Roy. Because it's true, it's, it's what's inside that, that makes us who we are, what keeps us motivated to face the challenges of the day. To make that choice, I encourage you to make that choice. I wish somebody had during those dark days, during my freshman year, but, but I don't mind looking back. What surprised me most is it's the quality of my life, how full and independent and productive it is. Things have settled out to where I know what to expect each week, each month, even each year. I, uh, I wrote a book my, my freshman year titled 11 Seconds. I updated a few years ago with my progress so far. I uh, graduated from Boston University with a degree in communications. I did it in four years. It's faster than a lot of my teammates. I was pretty proud of that. <laughs> I, uh, I have worked this fulfilling. I'm able to make a living. 